How's it going kids? I'm Daniel, this is Daniel Ball Tech and today I got a pretty exciting video for you guys and that is... Let me show you. How to run Windows 10 on Mac. Alright, so I'm currently running uh, Mac OS El Capitan, alright? You can do this process with any Mac OS version from my Mac OS Lion until El Capitan, Yosemite, any version, all right? This is completely for free. I'm running Windows 10. Uh, all the downloads are gonna be in the description. This is gonna be a really easy tutorial. You're gonna follow with me. It's gonna take you five minutes. There's no, nothing is pirate. Everything is official from my Microsoft website. They, they just give you the link. You can just download and use it, all right? Everything is for free. Everything is good. Everything is, works really well. So. Wait a couple seconds and we'll get started. Okay, so this is the internet, I don't have to wait anything, so let's just get started. So, um, this is Windows 10 right here, as I showed you in the intro. So, I'm running a full version of Windows 10. Uh, it's not a demo, it's not anything. I have a complete version right here, I can do whatever I want. Uh, this is pretty blank, I have installed anything, but it's just the full version and it works. So, let's go ahead and get started so I can show you how you can do it. Okay, so before we get started, uh, I'll put you the links of two things you need to download. The first thing is called VirtualBox. I'm going to have the link in the description. And the second thing is the actual Windows 10, which is right here, this ISO file. Right there. So I'm going to put the link in the description. And uh, you can just download really easily for free. And as I said, no, nothing inspired or anything like that. So. Uh, on the link I'm gonna give you give to you guys is already this link right here so it's already the the link so you can download the latest version and you're ready to go I'm gonna also give you this link which is the link to the download page so if you wanna have uh, I'm sorry so I'm also gonna give you this link right here so it's in this page I'm, I'm in right now so you can download the previous version or something like that but uh, or if you're watching this video later you can download the latest version but right now I'm gonna give you this link which is the latest version for Mac I'm also gonna give you this link which is the download Windows 10 disk image ISO file that's the Windows itself that's the whole operating system so I'm gonna give you this link you're gonna get you're gonna need to go to scroll down here in select edition I'm gonna zoom in a little bit in select edition you're gonna select Windows 10 confirm go down choose a language you can choose any language alright I just, I just put Estonian or whatever uh, confirm so you select your language could be English could be any other language you want if you're in Europe or you understood what I meant uh, and right here you have the Windows 10 Estonian yeah because I put Estonian could be English could be Spanish could be French could be German no problem and here you download the 64-bit version this is the best one to download it's just a more complex way of processing files don't worry download the 64-bit version and that's the download uh, it's compatible with the virtual machine uh, I'm gonna give you the link so 64-bit download click here and that's it it's already downloading right here I'm not gonna download obviously because it's gonna take a little bit of time uh, it's a four it's a 3.94 gig file so it's a 4 gig file pretty much and depending on the internet is gonna be really quick depending on the internet it could be really slow so that's it after it's downloaded you're gonna have a file like this so this is my file so it's Windows 10 English so this is the file I have previously downloaded and this is the Windows that I have just showed you running so after you have that running uh, after you have the download I'm sorry I'm just gonna close this machine so I don't have two machines working at the same time after I do the process with you so I'm just gonna close this machine don't worry about that uh, it's still closing just one second and while we do this we have right here the, virt the virtual box page so after you download the virtual box click on that link it's just gonna download a DMG file a basic normal app file so it's a software file just open it up install it normally it's gonna show up in your application folder like this virtual box it's gonna actually appear on your first page like this you just open it up or you go to your application folder like this go to application folder and download it 
easy like that. Oh, and open it up, I'm sorry. Okay, so right now I'm going to show you how you can create your own Windows Virtual Machine. So, click on you. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see better. Name, you can select which name, you, whatever name you want. I'm going to put Windows 10 YouTube. So, make sure the version is the correct one. So, in our case, Windows 10 64-bit. It already recognized automatically, but maybe it won't. So, make sure it is Windows 10 64-bit. Continue. The RAM memory, uh, you're going to select that your Windows machine is going to use. 2 gigs is fine. Uh, it suggests 2. You can go up to 4 on my case because I don't have more than 4 megabytes of 4 gigabytes of RAM. But if you have a more powerful machine and if uh, you want to do heavy stuff on your Windows and if your machine is capable, you can put whatever you want. Uh, make sure you don't go over to the red bar because otherwise your Mac is going to get you slow because your Windows is going to be using all the RAM. So 2 is fine for most cases. Uh, continue. Here we have the hard disk. Uh, so create a virtual hard disk now. So this is going to be your HD, uh, so where your, your, your stuff, where your files are going to go, the files you save on your Windows. So create is going to be just a basic folder. And this is the file type of the hard disk. I just put VDI, which is a virtual box disk image. This is your virtual hard disk itself. Create and dynamic allocated. This is the type. Continue. And here is where you select the size itself. It is suggesting 32, but you can go much over that, up to two terabytes. Don't go lower than 13. Don't actually go lower than 15, just to be sure. All right, so you need at least 12 gigs to run it, no, no problem at all, 12, 12 gigs of hard drive. So I'm gonna just gonna leave it 32, but you can go much over that if you have space. Create and we're almost 100% good to go. Just go to settings. Here on settings, let's go to system. Again, my RAM memory is right here. You can change it after if you want. Let's go to processor, and here's gonna show you the CPU, so the core processing unit. So I have eight units on my Mac, um, and right now I'm gonna select to go three units for my virtual machine. Again, depending on your Mac, depending on the how powerful it is, you can put much more than that, or much or not much less. If your computer is not compatible, is not uh, strong enough, be careful. Two is the minimum I recommend, but go to at least three. Uh, display. This is the part where you can enable the 3D and the 2D video acceleration, and that is pretty much for graphics, uh, for the animations for stuff like this if you're gonna use for basic stuff like I'm gonna use just for softwares that are not compatible with my Mac I don't you don't even need to check that and last but not least storage now this is where you're gonna actually select your Windows file so where the operating system itself is gonna load up so empty disk choose virtual optical disk file and now the finder window is gonna show and then you're gonna select where it is. On my case it is on the desktop as you guys can see desktop so it's right here so Windows 10 open it up okay and we are 100% good to go okay so when you open you can just now start the machine okay and as you guys are gonna see right now it, it is a regular Windows machine as if you're opening a computer and setting it up for the first time it's gonna ask you for everything that it, you would be asked if you just op uh, get a Windows machine uh, just just be, be sure to if you don't have a serial number for your for your Windows no problem you can just skip that step okay after that is basic stuff selecting language and stuff it's gonna ask you for the serial number don't worry just skip you're not gonna have problems okay so that's it guys I hope you really like please make sure to give me a thumbs up I really appreciate a s make sure to subscribe as well because I'm I, as I told you I'm gonna be posting new videos every other Sunday so make sure to keep up with the videos I really appreciate it and I see you guys two Sundays from now